If this year's Black Friday deals are giving you deja vu, you're not alone. Retailers, it turns out, tend to repeat the same promotions every year Macy's has been selling. $39.99 cashmere sweaters for five years running, while Best Buy has marked down the same. Six-foot HDMI cable to $9.99 each Black Friday since 2013. At Kohl's, Godos include $9.99. Sweaters every year since 2012 and $199 KitchenAid mixers since 2013. It's simple retailers are under a lot of pressure and don't want to upend a formula they know is working, said Rebecca Lehman, who tracks repeat discounts for the site Brad's Deals. It doesn't hurt that many of these are giftable items. Take, for instance, Target's $18 Razor Scooters, or Macy's $7.99 Toasters and Panini Makers. They've been offered at the same price for years. Inflation has yet to catch up. Layman says because customers have grown accustomed to expecting them. So what else are you likely to see other than $5 board games at Toys? Ars and $169 recliners at Walmart when you start shopping this holiday weekend. Here's a checklist to guide you. Online deals hours, if not days, before you find them. In stores, it used to be the Black Friday promotions actually started on Black Friday. Not anymore. Retailers have been trotting out discounts for weeks. Best Buy kicked off its Black Friday discounts on hundreds of items, including big screen TVs, Apple Watches and tablets on November 1. Walmart followed a day later, with $6 pajamas and $998 Samsung TVs. Kohl's unveiled its discounts Monday, while Old Navy is offering 50% off everything beginning Wednesday. Toys RS will roll out many of its Black Friday deals online beginning at 9 p.m. Wednesday. The real action, though, begins just after midnight on Thursday, when Walmart, Kohl's, J.C. Penney and many others begin offering their steepest discounts online. But how do you know you're getting a good deal? Consumers should keep the number 37 in mind this year that's the average discount offered across retailers, said Jill Gonzalez, an analyst for personal finance website Wallet Hub. Anything less, and they might not be getting a true Black Friday deal. Toys everywhere. The hottest toys are already flying off shelves and selling out, in many cases. So analysts say scoring discounts on the most coveted toys can be tricky. Many retailers also say they've scaled back on inventory this year, which may make it even more challenging to track down what you're looking for. There's really no pattern when it comes to toy discounts, said Trey Bodge, a shopping analyst. My advice is, if you see a discount on something that's on your list, get it, because it might sell out. Toys are us, which filed for bankruptcy protection in September, is keeping its stores open for 30 Hours straight beginning at 5 p.m. on Thanksgiving Day. Its doorbuster deals include half price. Baby Alive dolls and a 40% discount on Lego construction sets. But you may also see toys cropping up in some unexpected places as retailers compete for shoppers' dollars. Base Pro Shops will be selling Build-A-Bears, while Bergdorf Goodman, Bonton and Bloomingdale Store now carry items by Fau Schwartz. Discounts on electronics including iPhones. If there's one thing you can count on year after year, it's discounted electronics. TVs, reliably, are always very deeply discounted on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, says Baj. Best Buy, for example, is offering 50-inch sharp TVs for $179.99, while Walmart has marked down 65-inch curved TVs by Samsung to $997.99, but this year, she says, shoppers are in for a treat rare discounts on newly released iPhones. Apple is known for not offering promotions, but retailers are finding their way around that with gift cards. Bodge said, Walmart is offering a $300 gift card with the purchase of a $999 iPhone 10, as long as shoppers sign a two-year contract with at or Verizon. The discount also applies to the purchase of an iPhone 7, 7 Plus, 8 and 8 Plus. Target, meanwhile, will give shoppers a $250 gift card if 
They buy an iPhone 8 or A+, while Best Buy is offering $200 for the same models. Widespread markdowns on clothing and accessories. Deeply discounted clothing is nothing new. In fact, analysts say customers have grown to expect markdowns of 30% or 40% on apparel all year long. But prices are likely to drop even lower this holiday season as desperate retailers look to shore up sales. Roughly owning three discounts being touted over Black Friday are in apparel or accessories, making it the most frequently marked down category of goods, according to an analysis by the personal finance site WalletHub. On average, clothing and accessories will be marked down 48%, while jewelry will be discounted 59%. The analysis found Black Friday is a great time to stock up on fell clothing. Baj said, but don't worry if you forget a thing or two cold weather apparel and accessories. She said, tend to be discounted throughout December. Low prices on small kitchen appliances, anything that sits on the counter, you'll see good deals on. Baj said, toasters, slow cookers and Food processors have become a popular category, especially at department stores, limited quantity, door busters at Kohl's. For example, include mini choppers, can openers and hand mixers for $4.99. JCPenney and Macy's are selling rice cookers, griddles and waffle makers for $7.99, while Walmart has marked down blenders and deep fryers to $9.88, and while these might not be the flashiest items on your shopping list, Bodge says they can make for reliable holiday presents particularly for someone you may not know very well. They are fun, yet practical gifts, she said, and the prices have gotten so low.